Did you hear about the new custom visual that's creating a lot of buzz on Twitter? That and more is coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxton, and today's Thursday, which means we're gonna do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And this last week was a flood of information with new updates, new features, and just a lot of great stuff. So let's dig in. First off, let's talk about the big one that happened earlier this week, and that is the Data Insights Summit. There were a ton of new features announced from Power BI to Excel to just all sorts of items. From the Power BI side, this spanned from enterprise type features such as row level security and tenant level usage information to a deeper integration with Excel. And this included a general availability announcement for the ability to pin items from Excel client to Power BI directly. And also another big item was the ability to query Power BI data sets directly from Excel. That's actually a pretty big one. And also including items for deeper data integration with Q&A, the natural language query system, and that included the ability to query data sets that are using direct query type functionality, which a lot of people have been asking for. So I'm gonna to link to a playlist over on the Power BI YouTube channel, which includes videos for almost all of the items that were talked about at the Data Insights Summit. This includes all the items for Power BI, plus other items such as R integration, what's going on with SQL Server, and more. Also, I've got some links down below to some blog posts that do a good recap of what's going on. Next on the list is a blog post from Chris Webb from Across the Pond, where he talks about his thoughts on what happened at the Data Insights Summit. So he doesn't go through and list all the features that happened because as we talked about before, there's already blog posts and videos that go through all of that. He just highlighted two of the big things that stood out to him. The first being that you can actually query Power BI data sets from Excel that's coming. That's a big deal. Think of the idea of having a pivot table inside of Excel that's actually just using data from a data set that's in Power BI. The other was the custom visual that we announced, which was Sandance and the ability of what were actually incorporated into the product and we're using assets from across Microsoft. This one coming from Microsoft Research. So take a look at his blog post and see what his thoughts were on these items and see if you agree. Next on the list is the new custom visual that was announced and this is Sandance. Sandance is a item that came from Microsoft Research and it's a great example of how we're leveraging assets across Microsoft to really enable user experiences. Sandance is a really fun way to visualize data and it's about seeing the entire forest in your report. So it's gonna visualize every data point and use animations to help you explore that better. There's some great videos from the research site that show how, to, how this works and it's available today in the Power BI gallery for visuals. So be sure to check it out and try and come up with some cool visualizations for your data. All right, last on my list for today is the announcement of RC1 for SQL Server 2016. That happened last week. So Power BI is not the only thing getting a lot of love. Reporting services is also getting some love. So the web portal, which is the new experience in reporting services, that is now feature complete. We also announced the ability to do custom branding with the web portal, as well as the mobile report publisher. So you can create a custom brand package and leverage that in your site. My video from last Tuesday actually talked about how you can do that. Also, Chris Finland did a blog post specifically for that. Also, there were improvements to how KPIs work and things that you can do with those KPIs, along with some other enhancements just for modern browsing. So be sure to check out the blog post, see all of the items that are there available now in reporting services. And if you haven't tried it yet, install it, try it out. It's a great experience. Okay, I'd love to get your feedback on the things I talked about. What was the most exciting thing you heard about from the Data Insights Summit? I'm gonna have a little poll here for a couple of items that I thought were kind of the hot topics. So let me know what you thought. You can leave that in the comments below as well. And be sure to check out the comments to see if anyone else had some items, see what they thought, and also if people have questions, maybe you can answer that for them. And as always, the links for everything I talked about are down in the description below. I've actually got an overflow of links just because there was a lot of information. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this where I take a look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where I either look at how to troubleshoot something, how something works, or just look at a new feature. 
And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go and subscribe and be part of the conversation.